Hi, for revision this week, I thought we would do a wee bit of a recap of the straight line topic. So the equation for straight line, so far we have met this formula here, y equals mx plus c. There are two formulas, you've not seen the second one yet, but the first one I would only use when you know your y-intercept. So your y-intercept, to recap what that means, that is where it cuts the y-axis and that will be given as a coordinate of zero something. So whenever you have a straight line, and it has a y-intercept, any coordinate here on the y-axis is along something, sorry, along zero, up something or down something. Your gradient is a measure of how steep a line is. It can be positive or negative. Reminder of a positive line is a line that slopes up the way and a negative line is a one that slopes down the way as you work left to right the way you would read a page. Now, the gradient formula here is given to you as m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is one that you have to learn because it's not given to you in the exam. Same with that one up the top. You need to know these ones off by heart. None of this is on your formula sheet. Now, the gradient formula, you have to think of your coordinates as being x1, y1, x2, y2. Because any coordinate can be labelled x, y. So this is your first one. And this is your second one with the x2, y2. Now, when you're doing the gradient formula, oh, that should have been a v2 in there. You start with the second y coordinate, take away the first y coordinate, over the second x coordinate, take away the first y coordinate. So you're kind of working right to left. So let's look at a couple of examples. So when you were first taught straight line, the first thing we did is we worked on getting the gradient. So example one, find the gradient of the line AB that goes through the coordinates minus 2, 6 and 8, minus 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2 underneath. Now your gradient formula, I'm going to write it out again. So starting from right to left, we've got minus 4 take away 6 on the top using the y's. So minus 4 take away 6. And on the bottom, right to left, we've got 8 minus minus 2. So 8 minus minus 2. Now, watch, there's a double negative there. Two negatives together will actually turn into a plus. So this gives us negative 10 all over 10. And negative 10 over 10 just simplifies to 1. So this straight line has a gradient of 1. That's your first example. Please remember for these ones, you must always simplify if possible. If you don't simplify in an exam, you will lose a mark. So always simplify. Similarly, if you had an, a, a gradient of 3 over 1, that must simplify down to 3. You should never have this over 1 on the bottom of a gradient. Okay, next example. Example 1. Oh. What is the equation of the line with a gradient of 3 quarters passing through 0, negative 4? So we know the equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. This is just a case of substituting in what we've been told. Here is your m value, there is your gradient. So you replace m with 3 quarters. So y equals 3 quarters x. Here is your c value. Now in an exam, I would tell you to always write down c equals minus 4 before you substitute it in, purely because if you have the wrong c value and you put it straight into the formula, you could lose two marks. But if you've written the wrong C value and then substitute that into your formula, you could still get that second mark. I know it sounds crazy, but a good way to the practice is write down what your C is before you plug it in. Now, it says MX plus C. If C is negative, then that just becomes a takeaway 4. If C was positive, that would have been a plus 4. So the equation of the line passing through 0, negative 4 has a gradient of 3 quarters is this. There is your answer. Please remember, any coordinate here with a 0 at the beginning is your y-intercept. Okay. Okay, third example. What is the gradient and y-intercept of this line? So it's the reverse of the last question. I've given you the equation of the line. Now we want to write down what the gradient and y-intercept is. Now the first thing is, is that's not in the form I want. I want it to be y equals mx plus c. Okay, so we're going to just rearrange it slightly. I'm going to put the, the x part at the front, which will be minus 2x. And then that 6 is positive, so that's sit there. So my gradient, now I don't ever write m equals, I write gradient equals. 
So gradient equals the number in front of the x. So your gradient is minus 2. And your y-intercept, I always write it as a coordinate, is 0, positive 6. And that's what that question is looking for. Now our next question is very like this, but there is a wee bit more work to do before we can get to just writing down our answer. What is the gradient y-intercept of this line? So straight off, it's not in the right format. We need to do change the subject to get it into y equals mx plus c. So the y is okay just now. It's positive, so it's going to stay where it is. So 4y equals plus 2x will go to the other side and become negative 2x. And I'll move the x first because the x is first in the equation. Next thing I'm going to move is negative 8 will go to the other side and become positive 8. So I've almost got it there. I've got my y, I've got my equals something x plus my number. Now I need to deal with this 4. y is being multiplied by 4, so we need to divide everything by 4 individually. So we have minus 2 over 4x plus 8 over 4. Now some of you could skip this view line. We're going to simplify down now. 2 over 4, you should recognise, goes to 1 half. And 8 over 4 is simply 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So now your equation of the line is in the right layout to just write down your gradient and y-intercept. So your gradient is whatever is in front of the x. So your gradient is negative 1 half. And your y-intercept is plus 2. So as a coordinate, that is 0 positive 2. And there's your answer to that question. Some of these have got a wee bit more um, tricky rearranging to do. But it's a nice three marks in the exam if you can do it. Question 5. So now we're coming to the, the more common questions. Find the equation of the line through these two, two coordinates. Now the first thing I want to point out is this coordinate here, 0, 8, has got your y-intercept. So the first thing I'm going to do to write down, I'm going to write down my c value. 0, 8 means that my c value is 8. Now the only other thing I need to go get now is my gradient. So what I'm going to do is let me just get rid of that wee bit of writing. I'm going to go label my coordinates as before, x1, y1, and x2, y2. So my gradient formula is m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So starting from right to left, we're going to have 8 minus 3 on the top. And then we're going to subtract the x's right to left, 0 minus minus 6. So 0 minus minus 6. There we've got that double negative again. So minus minus will turn into a plus. So we end up with 8 take away 3 is 5. 0 take plus 6 is just 6. So my gradient is 5 6. Now in an exam you'd get a mark for the gradient, a mark for showing your y-intercept and a mark for plugging it into your equation properly. So the equation was y equals mx plus c. So plugging them in we have y equals... 5 sixths x plus 8. And that is your equation of the line. Okay. And my last example. It's done from a picture this time. What is the equation of the line? Now to do this one, we need a gradient. And we need a c value. Now the c value I'm going to go do first. The c value is a number that goes through on the y-axis. Now there's no numbers here, so we have to assume each box is worth 1. Now your c value, I hope you can all see that, is clearly minus 2. So c is minus 2. If nothing else, you've got your first mark. Now to do this one, we need to pull off nice clear coordinates. There's several coordinates we could use. We could use the one I've just circled. We could use that one and we could use that one because they're all clear in the lines. We could also use that one and that one. Personally, I don't use the, any of these ones over here with the negatives because I just don't want to use ones with the negatives. I am going to use um, the coordinate here, which is a long three up nothing. So I'm going to use three zero. And I'm going to go with this coordinate here, which is a long six up two. Okay, x1, y1. X2, y2. Oops. So gradient equals, start from right to left. So we've got 2 take away 0 for taking away the y's and 6 take away 3 for taking away the x's. That will give me 2 over 3. So my m is 2 over 3. My c value is minus 2. So your equation of the line 
y equals mx plus c. Plug in your gradient, y equals 2 thirds and c equals minus 2. And oh, and accidentally I've put the, um, the plus in there, which I shouldn't have done, so let's take that away. So it's because c is negative, it goes straight to negative 2. And there is your equation of a line. Now we've covered all this before, so hopefully that's been a good wee recap. And I'm going to get you to do a wee bit of practice of these, if that's okay for the next couple of activities.